What's going on guys and welcome to the first episode of my brand new career mode here on YouTube and we are starting with Herve Berlin in the Bundesliga now before I go on I just want to say straight away if you are a new viewer to this channel hello and welcome uh, I recommend clicking the subscribe button so I do upload at least once and usually t uh, twice a day and uh, if you're an existing subscriber a current subscriber and uh, this is just a new career mode for you but you've been on this channel for a while um, you may be wondering what's going to be happening with my uh, previous career mode if you will um, I would recommend and read in the description because it should all be answered in there but there you go uh, yeah we are starting this new career mode here today and we are in episode one and we have indeed started with Hertha Berlin in the Bundesliga in Germany and as you can see um, the board you know mainly just want us to finish mid-table really that's the only objective they seem to be worried about the cup objective I found during career mode anyway is pretty much useless I don't really mind too much they want us to reach around a 32 stage which should be very doable but the cup objective uh, on its own never seems to be that much of a fuss for the board really but uh, as you can see here uh, we haven't been given too much money to spend, but the first thing I want to do is assess the squad. Uh, at the moment, we've got a three and a half star team here with Herber Berlin. Now, you guys did pick Herber Berlin for me. That was a team you guys chose. I didn't choose it. You guys voted it in for me. And uh, to be honest, I looked down the squad, and it's an okay squad to us. It's not too bad on its own. But uh, with the money we've got, I was a little bit, you know, disappointed. I was hoping for a little bit more money. Uh, we do have around five million pounds in total, uh, if you consider the wage budget as well. Which means to begin with in the opening season in this career mode, we're not going to be able to sign all the best players in the world, of course. We're going to be heavily reliant on younger players that haven't sort of, you know, developed uh, too well so far that we can develop ourselves. Um, maybe some free agents, loan players, so on and so forth. Maybe some experienced players on the transfer list. We're going to have to play this market quite well. But the first thing I decided to do is inquire about Yassil on loan from Liverpool. And I also decided to recall this guy from Hamburg. Now, he's currently on loan at Hamburg from her Berlin, uh, Le Soga, 21-year-old striker. It cost me £1.3 million pounds to recall this striker. So he's he's our own player. We had to pay £1.3 million pounds just to get him back from Hamburg. But uh, we brought him back because he's a 77 overall striker. He's only 21 years old, 6'2", freestyle, equipment, freestyle skills, 90 strength already, and uh, some very decent skill stats as well. 81 finishing, 81 heading accuracy, 86 shot power. So we, we've recalled Le Soga, and the reason I've done that is because, yes, I know it's 1.3 million pounds. Yes, we don't have too much money, but the reason I've done that is because that's going to feel like a completely new player for us. And of course, he is a fantastic player at 77 overall. I think him and Ramos could be a great partnership. But after that, we saw that Arsenal have accepted a loan offer we put in for uh, Serge Gnabry. And also, Liverpool said they are going to be considering. Brendan Rogers said he will consider our loan request to take your seal because we did include a future fee. But uh, Arsenal and Arsenal Vega did say we could take Gnabry out on loan, which is good because Serge Gnabry, he's 70 overall. So not the best but not too bad either three star skills three star weak for only 17 years old can play on either wing very very quick 87 uh, acceleration 85 sprint speed some decent decent dribbling stats as well and uh, he does look quite good and uh, Brendan Rodgers does go ahead and accept the loan off we put in for Yassil, uh, the German striker. £1.5 million pound future fee, only seven grand a week. And this guy, only 19 years old, as you'll see his stats right here, he doesn't look like the best of strikers, but there's not actually too many attacking players here at uh, Herve Berlin. But uh, he looks okay. Three star skills, three star weak first, some decent stats, finishing 72, 64 overall. And uh, like I said, only 19 years old, so he's got room to grow. And uh, we'll see what he's like for the first season. If he's good, then we'll We'll take him on a permanent deal for the next one but uh, after that we decided to go and see uh, if we could find a player on the transfer list and I found a player called Jonathan DeSantis who is uh, I think he's his brother Giovanni DeSantis brother um, anyway plays for Barcelona uh, Mexican centre midfielder 23 years old and he does look quite good to be honest I'm not sure what his potential would be like but I'd imagine mid 70s at the lowest and he looks pretty decent so we put in a bit of 1 million pounds but the key problem there is that his wages are 40 grand a week for a sporadic first team player and to be honest here at Herve Berlin we don't really have that much money so to just pay 40 grand a week is going to be really really hard for us but uh, we're going to be getting rid of one of those players there a 55 uh, rated centre back for 45 grand we don't need him he'll never get in the team so we can leave we've also got a transfer over for Andrich here uh, a CDM Scunfort want to take him on loan he's only 53 overall but he is 80, uh, 18 years old so he's still got room to grow but he can go on loan to Scunfort and um, we'll see how he does in the English leagues but uh, we also saw that Barcelona 
Barcelona aren't going to let go of Dos Santos unless they get the two million pounds, which could be a good deal, could be a bad deal, not sure. But like I said, the 40 grand a week is the key uh, factor there as to why we are trying to barter and not just spend the two million pounds because, quite frankly, we may not even have enough to complete that deal anyway. But uh, after we've got a transfer offer for uh, Adrian Ramos here, uh, Espanyol winning for 5.5 million, 79 overall, 27 years old, one of the best players in the team. There's no way we are letting him go for that cheap because he is going to be a key member of our squad. In real life, I actually think he's joining Dortmund at the end of the season. I'm not sure about that, might be wrong, but in real life, I think he's going to Dortmund next year. But anyway, uh, after that, we decide to go and uh, see if we can get Maximilian Meyer here, the uh, Schalke midfielder, 17 years old, German, CAM uh, position, 1.8 million pound valuation, 20 grand on the wages. Um, just thought I'd inquire to see whether we can get this guy because he could be quite a good uh, talented player for the future and like I said uh, with Herbert Berlin as we don't have too much money we'll probably be looking at signing the younger players to develop straight off the bat instead of signing the ones that are already established but uh, after that we had a transfer over for Franz here the 31 year old 69 overall Braunschweig went in for 300 grand I think it was and we just say yeah take him because we've got enough defensive players and uh, he's not really going to get into the team that often but uh, Kobiashvili the Georgian centre half there says he's thinking of retiring at the end of the year and and we also see that France has indeed gone to Braunschweig for 300 grand. I know I'm going to get, get loads of these names wrong in the pronunciations. But uh, after that, I went to the free agents. I've been using the scout we got as a, uh, a reward at the start of the career mode. Um, I've been using the scouts to check out some free agents, see how good they are. Uh, this guy is a centre-back, 23 years old, valued at 350 grand. And he doesn't want too much money on the wages either. Also, Temsa of Egypt again. Uh, as a free agent, really, as a squad player, I think we could probably do with this guy. You know, because this squad isn't that thin and uh, if we are going to be selling some players and we are going to be looking to um, to try and get enough money to buy some new ones just to get these players in on freeze uh, could be quite handy for us as uh, squad players if you will cover players but uh, after that we saw that uh, Schalke did not want to let go of Maximilian Meyer which is not a real surprise, he's only 17 years old, he's clearly a really ta uh, talented player, real hot prospect for the future, seems to be quite a few of those at Schalke so um, we put in a new bid but we wait and see what they say and after that we had our first pre-season friendly here at the Olympia Stadion and one of the reasons I'm really really glad you guys did choose Herbert Berlin for me is because they do have that real stadium in the Olympia Stadion and it looks really really awesome in the next gen graphics looks absolutely lovely as you'll be seeing in some of these cutscenes during the season so uh, we take on Genoa uh, for the first pre-season friendly first of three I only played this one I simulated the other two but the reason I played this one was because I just wanted to get a feel for the team you know see how they play see how they do you know how I've got them lined up sort of get prepared for the start of the season competitively and uh, well it couldn't have got off to a better start really because in the third minute Hosagai a Japanese player gives the ball down the right hand side towards Ronnie Ronnie goes down the right hand side really good chance here swings in across and at the far post it is the Japanese player who heads it into the the back of the net no chance for the goalkeeper three minutes 49 seconds in and we already had the first goal of the series non-competitively of course but even so very nice to score as the camera seems to go through Hossa guy's body there but still 1-0 to us and in the 28th minute uh, Genoa come forward here eventually the cross is put into the box but a header is cleared off the line by Kobiasvili who did say he was probably going to retire at the end of the year so a uh, good header away by our centre half still 1-0 and in the 40, uh, 40th minute here Hossa guy the goal scorer gives it to Lasaga he chips it through and Ronnie's volley is well saved by the goalkeeper and it's still 1-0. We were attacking, we were threatening and from the corner it's crossed in towards the centre and eventually Lasaga hits the bar but he gets the rebound and puts it into the back of the net. So yes, we spent £1.3 million just to recall one of our own players from his loan spell for this year but I think that could be one of the best £1.3 million we end up spending because he is an awesome, awesome striker and he gets his goal there. <clears throat> to make it 2-0 and in the 57th minute some lovely passing saw Ronnie get released he crosses the ball to the centre and Ramos drills it in so that was a lovely little passing move there Ramos drills it past the goalkeeper makes it Herbert Berlin 3 Genoa 0 and the game is sewn up there so a very very awesome win in our first game in charge of Herbert Berlin like I said this is a pre-season friendly it doesn't matter but I wanted to test out the players I wanted to see whether I could get a good feel for how they play and how they do in the, uh, the formation I chose and they all seem fantastic a really awesome 3-0 win. Nice to see Lasaga scoring of course and Ramos and Hosagai got the others and uh, yeah a very dominant win there for our first game but uh, after that we've got a transfer over for Kluge, uh, Pierre Kluge here. 32 years old, 70 overall holding midfielder uh, valued at 325 grand. Hamburg wanted for 250. I say matches valuation and you can take him but as he's going to be decreasing in stats you know already we may as well let him go for whatever they offer but uh, after that we saw that uh, Maya, uh, Schalke aren't going to let really uh, let him go which is not a real surprise like I said he's a very talented player 
So we go ahead and increase the bid to 1.75 million pound plus Kluge who may be on his way out anyway. So uh, we increase the bid and uh, keep Kluge in there. And uh, we also saw that uh, Tempsa and Parlak, those two free agents, um, we go and offer them new deals and we'll wait and see what they say. Uh, just sort of bartering with them really because they can't really just flout or reject us as they are free agents and they, you know, they will need a club. Um, but they'll just counter offer with us and uh, eventually they'll either settle or we'll just go ahead and offer them what they want. I don't really mind paying what they're after because what, what they're after because only a few grand anyway but even so uh, we've got another transfer offer for Ramos here Villa wanted for 5.5 million and again I said no way 15.5 or well, forget about it because I don't really want to sell one of the best players in the side on such a cheap deal so Villa come back and say no which is not a real surprise and after that we saw that Tempsa uh, does not want to accept that deal unless he gets 7 grand a week and I just thought well okay that's fair enough because at the end of the day we'll, we'll give him sporadic first team player status he's, he's going to be a resi he'll barely play he's just there for cover uh, and as a squad player and um, we'll wait and see what he says but uh, I don't really mind if he rejects it anyway to be honest we'll wait and see but uh, I was there yeah, second pre-season friendly here with Herbert Berlin like I said I only played the, uh, the first one I didn't play the other two this one was against another Serie A side though in uh, Bologna we took them on and as you can see, uh, this game did indeed finish as a nil-nil draw. So very boring, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, at least there was no injuries. That's the main thing. But after that, we saw that uh, Hamburg did go ahead and match the valuation we asked for for Kluge. They're going to offer 325 grand, and we will take that money if he goes to Hamburg. And also after that, uh, we saw that Schalke uh, just don't want to let go of Myra at all, to be honest. But as Kluge is on his way, we take him out of the swap deal. We up the bid to 2.25 uh, million pounds. And we'll, say, uh, and we'll see what Schalke say there. I don't think we're going to get him, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. And uh, after that, we saw that Parlak does not want to come in unless we give him four grand a week. And I just said that's perfectly fine with me. Because like I said, it's only a difference of one grand per week. It's not really that much. But I was just bartering to see if I could uh, get him on a cheaper. And uh, unfortunately not. But Temster has accepted his contract. Seven grand a week for this free agent. Uh, as we accept him, he's on a sporadic first team player status deal anyway. Um, so he's not really going to complain if he doesn't get in the team. But as we accepted him, I knew he wasn't going to be that good. And as you can see, 68 overall, three star weak foot, four star skills, which is quite nice nice. Uh, left wing striker and CF in his available positions. Some decent stats. He's not that bad. Like when I sign these players, I know they're not going to be fantastic at all. They're usually going to be in the low to mid 60s uh, or the high 60s if we're lucky like there. But um, they'll do as squad players. You know, they won't cost us that much money and they'll do as squad players. But uh, after that, we saw again, Schalke just do not want to let go of Maya, which is not a real surprise. We're probably going to be going on with this until they say no, because we can't really afford to pay them, you know, like the six million pound premium they're probably off after so with that in mind unless they'll take a swap deal we're probably not going to be able to get hold of him but after that we saw that Ronnie <clears throat> says he doesn't want to play in the next preseason friendly as he's not really up for it and uh, to be honest that's not a real surprise he's got like 30 stamina or something stupid but uh, after that we saw that we got a media article saying we're, saying we're going to finish 17th this year that is absolute rubbish we're miles better than that and you'll see our third preseason friendly here against Sassuolo another uh, Italian side which we go ahead and win but uh, as always guys big thank you for watching the first episode of this new career mode I really hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed the episode please leave a like so much appreciated and it really does help my channel out and I'll see you for the next episode of career mode this evening.